Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the Selenium Java training. So today uh, I am going to talk about how you can install the auto IT tool. Okay, so we have already discussed what is auto IT tool and what is the use of it in Selenium. And then today I am going to show you how you can install the auto IT tool and later we will see the actual use of it. We will write the code and we will, you know, uh, merge it with Selenium and we will see with the help of Selenium how we can write the auto IT code. And Okay, so anyway, let's see the first installation and configuration part of Auto IT. If you want to download Auto IT, just go to google.com or google.co.in. Okay. Okay, here you type download Auto IT. So first or second link, you will get autoit.com. So this is the official website of autoit. As I told you earlier also, please download everything from the official website only. Do not download anything from any third party website. So here, yeah, go to that, you know, uh, autoitscripts.com. There you can see autoit downloadable options. So if you scroll down, you can see they have mentioned you can download you know the main auto it package and other related script the current version of auto it works on the following operating system so windows xp windows vista you know windows 7 windows 8 and windows 10 the latest version of auto it supports windows 10 also but you should be in desktop mode you know right there are two modes in windows 10 okay one is in you know ipad mode and another is desktop mode so it should be in desktop mode windows 8 and windows 10 okay so the latest version was released, you know, 16th March 20, 2018. So let's go ahead with it and install it. Scroll down, you can see, you know, auto IT downloadable option. We have to download this one. Download auto IT. I need auto IT exe editor also. Okay. So if you download this, this is only for auto IT editor. I don't want only editor. I need that auto IT tool also. AU exe and auto. yeah so we have to download this one so let's click on this so it's downloading okay see so downloading is done so if i go to this so this is auto it3 setup.exe so you just need to double click on it that's it i'm double clicking on it Okay, so can you see it's open? So click yes. Now click next. I agree. Then, okay, so use this one only. That's not an issue. Okay, and just install it. Okay, so this is going to install, you know, scripts example, EDF scripts example, auto IT core files and all. So auto IT core files, definitely it's a record. And this is, you know, depends on you if you want to install it or not. Okay, so let me go ahead with everything. And by default, it is going to select C program files and auto IT3. So let it be and let's install it. Okay, so it's not going to take much time. So just be with me for some time. That's it. Okay, and finish it. Done. So installation of auto IT is completed. Okay, now if you go to the location where you have installed the auto IT, we have installed it under C, right? C, program files 86. Then you can see one auto IT3 folder. If you go inside it, you can see all these files. Can you see au3info.exe? This is nothing but your auto IT tool. So if I double click on it, can you see this is opening? This is your auto IT tool. See. 
here it is frozen state means that is currently in frozen state so if you identify any object from your desktop you have to unfreeze it first okay first you have to unfreeze it so uh, let's see let me first unfreeze it so you can go to option and click on control alt f or you can click here or you can press this control alt f option okay so i'm clicking here so that's it now you can see it's not in frozen state now here is the finder tool so finder tool is nothing but the arrow icon on your you know inspect element when you do we can see the arrow icon right to highlight any object or in firebug firepath you can see the arrow icon i already told you i already showed you you click on the arrow icon and move your cursor move your mouse and point it to some wave element and click on it so same thing this click on finder tool and you move your cursor it is going to highlight that object can you see i moved here see the thing it's highlighting here title auto id3 this is the class this is the class of this window this is the three instance so see the title is this title auto id3 the title of this window okay so if i move my cursor here can you see everything is same but only thing is title is same but basic control info you just notice here it is changing class equal to net uit uh, ui h w and d instance is one if i move to the left side window see title of this window is same auto it3 because that is under same folder but the id of this window this whole window what you can see left side tree window that is the class of this window is system tree view 32 can you see it's changing now if i want to copy this value if i move my cursor it's going to change right because i will be moving over through this window so you have to freeze it see i'm pressing alt control f can you see now it's frozen now it's not going to change see here it's frozen now it is not going to change so this is what is your auto it window this is how you can identify the you know object in your uh, identify any element in your desktop okay just think about it let me see one more example uh, a notepad okay i'm typing something and i'm just trying to close it i am getting you know this window for example i want to identify this window okay let's identify the notepad first what i have to do i have to do unfreeze alt control f click on finder tool move your cursor see see the title title is untitled notepad this is nothing but this title then class is notepad then the basic info means where i am going to type that is class is edit instance is one okay so here if i click on the notepad so this window opens up if i move this this window see the title is notepad can you see here the notepad title of this window is also notepad now there are different buttons if i want to click on the save button can you see it's classes button so if i identify this button as a button so you might you know uh, you might raise a question then why it should it can maybe it can click on the don't save button or cancel button also right but see the instance instance is one here class is button instance is one if i move here see button instance is two instance is three so i can identify anything on this window with the help of class i can say go to the window whose title is notepad and whose class is button and instance is two that means then it is going to click on the don't save button so i'll press alt control f see it is now okay now if i move it, it's not going to change so i can copy those values and use it in my script so don't save button means class is button and instance is two in this type, no uh, window save button means window is same notepad it should be classes button instance was one we just saw right so this is how using auto it you can identify different elements on your desktop 
once you identify the different elements on your desktop next you have to write the code so here we are going to write the code so let me close the auto edit tool to write the code you have to go to this folder scit if you go inside that folder inside that you can see scite.exe if i double click on it so it's going to open this window this is called auto it editor here basically we have to, you know uh, we have to write the auto it code here we will be writing the auto it code. okay once you are done with your auto it code then you have to go to tools and you know compile you have to compile it okay once we are done with the auto it so i'll talk about all these things later i'll show you so this video i just created to you know most of the people come back you know after the class and they say that i am not able to install auto it or i don't know how to install you i you know i was not able to install i was facing some issues or sometimes they forget also which link they have to go you know uh, which folder they have to go and all so that is the reason i have created this video so i hope now you should be able to install auto it successfully if you have any doubt any question let me uh, let me know then you know next class actually we will see you know how to use the auto it with the help of video. okay thank you